Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, angle bisector CD, as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, yellow shaded uh, right triangle uh, DBC. And the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle has been given to us as square root of 3 centimeter square. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, CAD is alpha. The angle uh, ACD is uh, alpha. And finally, this angle uh, DCB is uh, alpha as well. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AD is being represented by X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, we are going to find uh, this uh, segment length uh, AD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this triangle uh, ADC. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. As you can see in this given diagram, and here we can see this angle uh, C is our exterior angle. Whereas uh, these angles uh, A and B are our uh, opposite uh, interior angles. Such that uh, this angle C is going to be equal to A plus B. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADC once again. For this triangle, this uh, angle is going to be our uh, exterior angle and that's going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, uh, this exterior angle is going to be equal to alpha plus alpha is going to make it uh, two times uh, alpha. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, DBC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, yellow shaded triangle, uh, the sum of uh, these uh, three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. And we know this angle is our 90 degrees uh, angle. So therefore, uh, the sum of three interior angles uh, are going to be angle alpha plus uh, angle 2 times alpha plus uh, 90 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. And now I'm going to subtract uh, 90 degrees uh, from both uh, sides. And here we can see this 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees gone. So 3 times uh, alpha is going to be equal to 90 degrees and now I am going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate alpha. So therefore our angle alpha value turns out to be 30 degrees and since our angle turns out to be alpha equals to 30 degrees so this is going to be our angle 30 degrees and likewise this angle 2 times alpha is going to give us uh, 60 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, yellow shaded triangle DBC. And we can see that this turns out to be our uh, special 30, 60, 90 degrees uh, triangle. Since this angle is uh, 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is our uh, 90 degrees. And now let me go over the basic uh, review. And now let's focus on this triangle uh, CBD. And we know this is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and this angle is our 90 degrees angle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, this uh, 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore, uh, the side opposite to the smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg and the leg uh, opposite to our uh, largest angle is going to be our uh, longest leg. It is also called the hypotenuse. 
and in such kind of a uh, special 30 60 90 triangle the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg if the smallest leg is one unit uh, then the longest leg has got to be two and this third leg has got to be square root of three and in general if this smallest leg is uh, lowercase a then this uh, longest leg is going to be two times a and this third leg is going to be a times uh, the square root of three and now let's revert our attention back to this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, dbc we can see this segment uh, db is the smallest leg so this has got to be lowercase a and this uh, hypotenuse uh, cd is our uh, longest leg so this is going to be two times uh, a and this uh, third leg has got to be a times uh, the square root of uh, three and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, lowercase uh, a before we could calculate the value of uh, x now let's focus once again on this uh, yellow shaded triangle dbc we know the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us uh, as uh, square root of uh, three centimeter square and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle and we can see in our case uh, the base of this yellow shaded triangle is uh, lowercase uh, a whereas uh, the height uh, of this uh, triangle is a times uh, square root of three and the area of this triangle has been given to us as square root of three let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area has been given to us as uh, square root of three is going to be equal to a half uh, times our base is uh, a times uh, the height is uh, a times uh, the square root of uh, three let's simplify so square root of uh, three is going to be equal to square root of three divided by two times uh, a times a is going to give us uh, a square and now i'm going to multiply by the reciprocal two divided by square root of three on the right hand side and likewise i'm going to multiply the left hand side uh, with two divided by square root of three as well and here we can see this whole thing cancels out with this one and over here this square root of three is gone with this uh, square root of three so therefore our a square value simply turns out to be two and now i'm going to undo this uh, square by taking the square root on uh, both uh, sides and here we can see this square and square root undo each other so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be positive square root of two centimeter so that's our lowercase a value turns out to be square root of two so therefore this segment is going to be square root of two and this uh, cd length is going to be two times a means uh, two times uh, the square root of two and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, adc and we can see this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this angle is alpha and this angle is uh, alpha as well so therefore we conclude that this isosceles triangle has uh, this uh, side ad equal to this side uh, cd as you can see in this given equation and we know our uh, this cd length is two times uh, square root of two and this uh, side length is uh, x so therefore we conclude that our uh, x value is going to be equal to two times the uh, square root of two centimeter so thus after all the calculations and manipulations uh, this uh, side x uh, value turns out to be two times the uh, square root of two centimeter and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.83 centimeter as well in other words uh, this uh, x uh, length turns out to be two times uh, square root of two centimeter and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye